All right, after a three week delay, the long anticipated beach nourishment project out at Passer Grill is underway. The project was supposed to get started last month, but it faced a series of setbacks. Yeah, 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser went there today as trucks move sand for the first time in weeks. Well, as you can see, there's still been very little progress here on the southern end of Passer Grill Beach. But county officials tell me that sometime this weekend, they expect that the beach renourishment project here will finally hit high gear after nearly three weeks of delays. County workers say the first delay was obtaining a permit from the Army Corps of Engineers to pump sand out of the Passa Grill Inlet. Then right after that, a mechanical issue with the equipment. Both obstacles, we're told, have now been resolved and the project is resuming. Some parking spaces are closed for the equipment and parts of the beach will have to be shut down at times, but not all of it. And of course, businesses remain open. There's plenty of parking, just get here early. And all the restaurants and all the storefronts are open, waiting to serve you, come on down. They'll be able to work 24 seven. I think that's what their intention is, to try to get this done as quickly as possible and then get off the beach and let people have the beach back. When they do eventually close the southern end of Paso Grill Beach, the northern end on the north side of the snack bar will remain open. And then when they start that phase of the project, closing off the north end, the south side will reopen to beachgoers. County officials tell me despite the setbacks and the delays getting this project started, they are still confident that they can meet their original timeline of having this project finished by October 31st. In Passagrill, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay.